Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in SketchUp 2021 for beginners. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to discuss with you 3D warehouse in SketchUp. What is 3D warehouse and how to use 3D warehouse we will understand in this tutorial. So if you are new and beginners in SketchUp, you can understand it easily. So for going to 3D warehouse, you are required to go to window here and you can click 3D warehouse here. So first I will tell you what is the benefits of using 3D warehouse. So 3D warehouse is a website of searchable pre-made 3D models that works seamlessly with SketchUp. So it is a website, online website and it's a collection of 3D models and textures of SketchUp here and you can use it in your project. So 3D Warehouse is a tremendous resource and online community for anyone who creates or uses 3D model. So 3D Warehouse is very much helpful for SketchUp uh, projects. So you can download models here and you can also save model you find as favorite. So you can save it easily by using 3D Warehouse. So you have to be some uh, login in uh, this SketchUp 3D Warehouse. You have to create a login account so that you can log in and download this uh, directly into your project or you can save at your folder also. So you can also curate public collections of models or materials and save private folders. You can also upload models that you, you have created. You can upload any models. Suppose you have created any residence plan or elevation of 3D. You can uh, directly upload in SketchUp. You can up also upload a SketchUp textures likewise. And you can also connect with other 3D warehouse users. You can also connect with other 3D warehouse users. Also. So we will understand all this. And now I will tell you the example. So I am going to my window here. And now I will go to 3D Warehouse. I will click this. And now you can see uh, my name is here. So I have logged in to this uh, 3D Warehouse. If you don't have any account, you can create it easily like you do for any other social media accounts. So if you uh, come to this 3D Warehouse, you can see this, there is these all categories here. If you click this. You can search your categories like animals if you want to download animals if you click this you can see uh, animals uh, 3d models and uh, you can see some paintings and plants related to animals you can see sculptures likewise so whatever you required suppose if you required to download animals model you can click this and you can download whatever animal if you want to download this and there are various categories like art for architecture, art, building products, electronics, film, stage and events, food and beverage, furniture and many things like interior design, interior products, landscape, you take landscape, you can see landscape related uh, models here. So likewise, whatever uh, you want to download, you can download from these categories. So I'm going to select all categories. And now uh, this is the product here and you can see models here so if you select this you can download models and if you want to download some collections you can also select this collections so like if you want to download human models here you can get collections here so uh, you can choose your categories so there are catalog catalogs also so, so some products or uh, product design catalogs you can get it from here and you can also get a furniture catalog so it's a huge collection and it's a very helpful library 3d warehouse so uh, you can get uh, some relevance also here you can select this you can uh, select popularity likes author title date modified date added so if you want to download your model with popularity you can select this popularity so whatever popular models are there you can download it from here so it is very easy to use this 3d warehouse and you can also select this category from here and you can also uh, set your properties here you can set your file size suppose if you don't want 100 mb file you can reduce so that uh, suppose your system don't support larger file you can select your file size also and you can also select this advanced so we can get live component dynamic component and geolocated so 
and it is very easy so suppose if you want to download this uh, model here this bed model you can simply uh, bring your mouse here and you can see this from here download so if I am selecting this download so now it is asking load into model so suppose if I am working in this SketchUp model here I can directly load into my project and you can also save to your folder so if you will load this directly into your SketchUp model if you will click yes it will directly go to this SketchUp uh, viewport here and so I am going to select yes and if you click no it will be uh, again asked to save to your folder so i'm going to load this directly into a sketchup model so i will click yes and now it's downloaded and you can directly bring your sketchup project here this model and uh, you can work like this and if you select no you can save to your folder also so after uh, bringing to your uh, sketchup template file here you can again save this model if you want to save this and create your own library you will go to file save as and you can save to any folder wherever you want you can save this so likewise you can use this pre warehouse and you can create your own library you can also upload models using this 3d warehouse so this is very handy for a SketchUp artist. So this was the tutorial for today's session. In the next session I will come with some more interesting topics in SketchUp. Bye bye.